Hello everybody, my name is Brian and welcome to an indie horror game called Strange Toilet. I have no idea what this game is about other than the fact that apparently we have to use the toilet. And apparently it's totally very scary. Great. Also, if uh, there's two rules. If I laugh or get scared, I have to rate it five stars. You know what? If I either laugh or get scared, I will indeed rate it five stars. I'm assuming on itch.io. The rule two is to have fun and always flush your toilet. That's something I do. I am going to have fun and I always flush the toilet. You guys should too. Anyway, let's start the game. Oh. Um, ew. You don't want to see it again. Yes, I do. Oh, well, okay. There's nothing for me to see, but at least I flushed the toilet. Okay. So what exactly am I doing? Can I turn the water on? No, can I... Whoa. I hope you didn't clog the toilet. No, I didn't. Who do you think I am? Okay, you know what? Turn on the TV or we'll miss Uber News. <laughs> Uber News? Good day to everyone and welcome what? back to Uber News. <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is... In today's news. The inflation in our country is oh. rising. There are rumors oh. that one dollar will be worth free. What? People don't have good opinion on it and they are saying that it will make living harder and increasing prices is not a good idea. Uh. There are also rumors that this change will only be temporary or not even gonna happen. In a local news, a new restaurant has been opened called Daddy's Meat. Daddy's Meat? Clients that ate food already in there are saying that meat served there, especially steaks, are really well cooked Oh my fresh. goodness. And our biggest news of the day. Yeah? Two days ago, afternoon, a horrible crime has been committed. What? A dead body found of Drake Peppermint after car crash. Uh... People that saw that thought it was an accident. Drake Peppermint was struck by a car into empty shop. When police arrived, he was already dead. He had many wounds. Not only bruises after crash, but also many stab wounds. There was also a message on a wall that says he wasn't fun. This is now confirmed that it was deliberate murder. The wife of the killed husband reported the calling phone and messages. The phone call happened first. She says that the man on the phone talking to Drake was clearly saying, let's have some fun. Then, after a few hours, she took a look on her phone to find the message, the fun has begun. After some time, the whole thing has happened. Many of those who survived the meeting with murderer Claiming that after escaping him, he left them alone. The only sign left then was note on the door saying, good game. Those who were badly injured are now laying in a hospital. One of them sadly died of blood loss after getting stabbed and there was not enough time for transfusion. You better be careful when taking a call, because you may not see another day. We will return to the rest of the program after these commercials. Okay, enough of this. I don't want to see some kind of idiot in a mask who can't even say a single sentence without stuttering. <laughs> it's late, I'm going to take a shower. Okay, go. Why do we have, like, no emotions? Can you imagine what it would be like if I started a video like that? Who is walking around the house at this hour? Like, just think about it. Hello, everybody. My name is Brian. Today we're playing Strange Toilet. Please like the video. Please subscribe. This is so engaging content. Like, you guys would click off so fast if I were to do that. Alright, so someone's at the door. I guess it's this door? Nope, not that door. Oh. Apparently it was this door. It says, um, don't poop anymore. Yeah, that's what that said. It totally doesn't say, uh, what you guys expect think it says. It, it says poop. What? The radio. Oh! Ugh. 
I got jump scared by by a pair of toast. Yeah, that happened. Where's that dumb radio so I can turn it off? I'm just saying. Okay. We're interrupting the following Whoa. audition to inform you about the danger. A toilet killer was captured on cameras in the city. Many resident owners reported calls from unknown color that were possibly for murder. If your phone is ringing, you better don't answer it. Now, we return to plant audition. Okay, so we need to not answer the phone. That is a creepy drawing. What the? Give me a moment. What? The light just turned off. Where exactly do I go? Oh! <laughs> I never lie. Okay, apparently we need to find a handle. I am getting out of this place. Okay, so I found a key over there. Apparently I got a book too. Oh my goodness. That... Okay, that's just terrifying. Why is, why is that there? Why do we have a picture of a disgusting toilet with a man inside the... No, that's... No. I don't know why we have a picture like that. It really has no business being in this house. Okay, apparently that door is locked. Oh. Okay, so that book that I got was... For that bookshelf over there. And I guess I just used the key as well. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Ooh, I got a feeling we're gonna use this later on. Okay, so I think I got the handle now. So let's go over and do this. What? Okay, so I guess I don't have the handle yet. Okay. Now I realize what I need to do. We just gotta light these candles. Whoa. Okay, I have no idea what that did. But, uh... I want out of this creepy basement. Oh. Okay, well, I finally found the handle. I was so confused, I couldn't find it anywhere. I even watched a YouTube video. Oh, we finally got the handle. Okay, now what? Oh! Uh, we're declining the call. Okay, there we go. What? Well, at least we can turn the light on now. Okay, we need to get to the bathroom. Good game? What? Well, I got that right here. Let's do this. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh! Oh my god. Is it nice not to answer the phone? Uh. Oh! I was. Nathan, wake up. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a moment. I was killed by a toilet. What? Ah, uh, why well, it's happening to me again? What? I must go and wash myself. Uh, uh, you got problems, dude. That is okay. That's just nasty. Yeah, let us go to the bathroom. She looks fine. She's just staring at the TV, even though it's not turned on, as one does. Let's just let's go to the bathroom. Whoa. What happened? <laughs> Ew. 
It said the end. Okay, that was pretty awesome, but I want to see what happens if I answered the call. Alright, so I got the phone call. This time I am going to accept it. Hello? Uh... Hmm. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Oh man, I still gotta find the key though. It's got it around here somewhere. There it is, right there. Take it. Use it. I don't think we need a lighter anymore. Yeah, we just go straight for this. Alright. Oh! Okay, that got me again. Oh, no, no. You're the favorite now, the king. Do Am I gonna get killed by a to- I Okay, you get killed by the toilet no matter what you do. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was amazing. And I never laughed at it, but I worse there were some moments where I did get scared, so I will rate it five stars. In fact, you know what? Like I am so impressed with this game that I am going to rate it 5 stars right here on video. You see, I have video evidence that I rated it 5 stars. Uh, as for the review, I'm going to do that. You know what? I'm going to do that on... on mm. No, I'm going to save that for off camera because I want to put this video on the review and I can't do that in the middle of recording the video. But yeah, five stars. But either way guys, as I think I said before, this game is so awesome. Welcome to another indie horror game called Luggage. Now this is something that I saw Blue Coffee play on his channel and it seemed really fun so I figured why not play it too? What a rough trip. Oh, okay. All right. We arrived in Los Angeles. Oh, Thank okay. You flying Hubris Airlines. Um, you're welcome. Okay, so this looks like PlayStation 1 type graphics here. What am I going to tell Jessica? Yeah, what are you going to tell Jessica? Why do you sound so depressed? You sound like me when I first started recording videos. With commentary. She never forgive me. What did you do that you don't think she could forgive you for? What'd you do? Accidentally caught her fat or something? Come on, man, live a little. Don't forget your luggage, sir. You should see it on your way out. Uh, thank you for letting me know. All right. Boy, this place is big. So yeah, we are definitely in an airport. Can we sprint? Yes, we can. Okay, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Like, I am literally just going everywhere. Wait, there it is. There they are. There's the luggage. Alright, let's just go. Wow, okay. Okay, so that's not mine. There goes my luggage. Oh, okay. I, I better grab it. Need to use a payphone to call a taxi oh. now. Can't wait to get home. Wow. You can't wait to get home, but That's yet. Gail's luggage. Oh. What am I gonna tell the cops when they find out he's missing? Gail is missing? What happened to Gail? Now I gotta find a payphone. I guess we're in like the 1980s or something. Because payphones do not exist anymore. As a matter of fact, guys, you won't believe this, but payphones were still in existence when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm old. I am like 29 years old right now. Well, technically I'm 28, but when you guys see this video, I'll be 29. Alright, but where is that payphone? Also, this guy we're playing as, he just sounds like he's not even alive. You know what I mean? Like, he's alive, but he's, like, dead inside. 
It's honestly quite sad. Alright, let's see if maybe the payphones can be in here so somewhere. <clears throat> Wait, am I... Oh, okay, here we go. Does it matter which one? Okay, it literally does not matter which one you pick. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one you pick. You can literally pick any of them. Okay, we'll go to this payphone then. I want to go home. home. Yeah. At the Hubris Airport. Yes. Sure thing, sir. May I get your name? My name is Steve. Brian. Okay, apparently it's Steve. Steve. Will be on its way. Thank you. Thank you, Eager Taxi. Okay, there's the exit. So I think we want to go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. And now we just leave. I think. Yeah, I think this is the. Yeah, there's our taxi. Boy, that was real that, fast. That was quick. Yeah, that was real quick. That's exceptional service, sir. Or ma'am, whoever is the one driving the taxi. Okay. Looks like we are heading home now. Home sweet home. Man, I regret camping with Gale. Knew it was a bad idea. Okay, so apparently we camped with Gale. Okay, so this is our apartment. We can't go with anyone else's apartment. I'm going to explore a little bit. Okay, looks like there really isn't... Alright, there's nothing here. Okay. Well, you gotta be sure, though. You never know. There could be like a secret ending or something. What? At his home. What? Till this day, the killer was never found. The neighborhood of Ellendor was left in shock. A man in his 60s found dead at his front lawn. What? But that was only his body. What? His head is yet to be found. The killer likely took it as a trophy. What? A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer. With the only description of him looking like a camper. That what? That the only witness description of the killer. With what the police knew of him, oh. they searched the woods near the neighborhood for any campsites. Oh. Police have reports of an airplane passenger who left the country matching his description. Oh. Okay. How he got the severed head through airport security remains a mystery. On the oh. night of Halloween in 1970, a man was butchered at his home. Oh. Till this day, the killer was never found. Okay. So, basically, I am the murderer. I murdered my friend Gail. That was only his body. And... Took his head. Gail's head is in my luggage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't have a reflection. Where do I go now? Do we just leave now? Like, I have no idea what to do now. Maybe we just leave. No, we don't leave. Like, I have no clue what to do now. What if I close the door? A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer. With the only description of him looking like a camper, that was the only... Oh, here we go! Unpack the luggage! With what the police knew of him, they searched the woods... Oh! Oh my goodness great, we like transported back in time or something. What the f Am I reliving this nightmare again? Yes you are. What was I thinking? Yeah, what were you thinking? You just murdered your own friend. I guess that's us? Like in the past? I wish I'd never thought about it. I should have just cut the firewood and went back to camp. 
Wait, you were thinking about murdering your friend? Why? Just why couldn't I let the past be and moved on? What? Oh my goodness. Wait, do you have an axe? I th you. Oh my goodness gracious, you have an axe. Oh. I'm so sorry, Gail. I'm sorry. Why did you do it? Why? What was the reason? What went through your head? I'm with myself. I'm a monster. Oh my, and you bury his body. Okay, now we gotta follow you. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Oh man, okay, I was not expecting this. No, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. I'm coming, I'm coming. I got interrupted by sticky keys. Oh man. I'm going to do it this time. What? I'm going to kill myself. No, no. Maybe that's why I'm here. What? Oh no. No, no, no. Don't do it. No, uh, no, 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 no. No. Uh, he did it. He jumped. And that was the whole game. Um. So yeah, basically I killed my friend for whatever reason. And. Yeah, I'm guessing I took his head and put it in my luggage. How in the world I managed to get away with that, I have no clue. I guess airport security just wasn't strong back then. Welcome to Missing Hiker. Now what you're seeing is actually a screenshot of the game because it uh, moved past it when I clicked it. When I cl basically just clicked. So yeah, Missing Hiker is yet another indie horror game on itch.io. So let's just get into this. December 11th, 1994. My brother Ethan is missing for around 24 hours. He went on a hiking trip near the Red Mountain. He should have come home yesterday. I went to the local police. They said they don't have the resources for a search right now. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Oh my goodness. Is this kind of like driving home? It's like driving home, isn't it? Okay, this music is epic, by the way. I am loving this music. By the way, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. But let's uh, not... Yeah, let's not be in the same lane that a car is coming towards us in. Okay, do we stop here? I should part of this gas station. Okay. So let us park here, I guess. So yeah, I'm a pretty bad driver. There we go. There we go. That's how you do that. Uh, can I can I leave? Can I get out? Oh, apparently I didn't actually park. Why? Can't why can't I park? Wait, what, what, what did that thing say? Oh, E, that's the car. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, we got a flashlight. So it looks like we gotta go inside the store and ask if anyone has seen my brother. Hey, you, have you seen my brother? What do you want? I'm searching for my brother. He went missing while hiking in this area. Sorry to offend you, pal, but that's not my problem. Also, you shouldn't just randomly approach people like this, especially in this area. What do you mean? Hey, look man, I worked pretty late. I just want to grab some snacks and beers and drive home. I'm not in the mood to talk with people I don't know. I understand. Sorry for bothering you. You know, the guy does have a point, but he could have been nicer about it. What about you, sir? What can I do for you, sir? I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking around this area. 
He should have come home yesterday. Have you seen him? How does your brother look like? He has brown hair and is pretty tall. He also has a green backpack. Let me think for a second. Hmm, yes, I think I saw your brother. He came in here and bought a few things. Some water and a few snacks. You're trying to find him? Have you told the police already? Yes, I did in fact, but they said they don't have the resources, resources for a search right now. They said they only start a search if a person is missing for more than 48 hours. I think that's true in real life too. It isn't the first time someone went missing in this area. At least a handful of people went missing there in the last decade. People talk a lot. I've heard rumors that there are strange screams and weird noises coming from the woods. So you should be careful, especially going there at this time of night. There's a road right behind the gas station leading to the mountain. Make sure to stay on it. There could be dangerous wildlife in that area. Thanks. I'll make sure to stay safe. Take care. I have no idea why I decided to do that voice, but... I liked it. Uh, what, what? This is my car, right? Why can't I get into my car? Is there something else I gotta do? Do I gotta walk all the way there? I do remember him saying it's behind the gas station. So I guess I'm gonna start heading that way. Okay, well, we're gonna go on foot apparently. So here we are just running through the woods in the dark of night, the only light source being a flashlight, and a light source over there apparently, but mostly just a flashlight. My brother's tent looks entirely different, I should take a closer look. Oh, this is the tent! I thought it was a border to be honest. Oh! Whoa, whoa, who the heck are you? You scared the crap out of me! I scared you? I almost had a heart attack myself. Yeah, I was not expecting that. What do you want? I hope you're not some kind of pervert or creep. I'm not. I'm searching for my brother. He was hiking in this area. Have you seen him? Nope. I haven't seen him. Wait. You don't even know how he looks like. Look, man, I'm just some guy that likes to hike in the woods and sleep in a tent in freezing conditions. I haven't seen anyone in days. I understand. You're planning to go deep into the forest? Yes, I'll search around the area. I hope I can find my brother or at least traces of him. Look, you'll probably think I'm a stoner or something. But last night I had my tent a bit up north. And I heard weird noises coming from the woods. It sounded like a child was crying, but I didn't see anything. It creeped me out. Maybe it was a cryptid. A what? Look, man, do you carry? What do you mean? I'm talking about a piece, you know? Something for protection. You mean a gun? No, I don't. Then you shouldn't be here in the first place. It's way too dangerous to go deeper into the forest at night. But I'm not going to stop you. I just want to sleep now. Also, one last thing. Don't creep up a tent in the woods at night ever again. I almost would have shot you. Well, I guess I'm glad you didn't. Me too. Good luck with the search. Okay. So we need to continue onwards. But yeah, we're just gonna search the woods at night. Apparently we have no protection. Yeah, this is totally fine. Nothing can go wrong. And as soon as I say that, something is going to go wrong. It's getting really cold. I should set up my tent on the left side of the road. Okay, so left side, that would be this way. Okay, apparently I don't know my right from my left. Actually, that's not true. I do know my right from my left. I just had an oops a moment. Wait a minute, what? Uh, that would be the last time too. Maybe... Maybe this is left. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going straight. Aha, here we go. Okay, it's lit up. 
Alright, so this is left. So I was right the first time. Okay. Here we go. Um, hello? Can I... I'm starting to think this is not the right place. Did I just go back? No, that can't be right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. But I must, but this must be it though, because I did not turn around. Oh my, because I remember those two boulders. Yeah, okay, so I basically went around in a circle. Okay, here we go. Okay, the pair of my fingers are pretty numb, and it's hard to build a tent. Okay, here we go. Now that took me, lo like, longer than it should have. It's cold and I'm falling asleep slowly. I think I heard someone scream. Not sure if that was real or imagined. I need to check. It could be my brother screaming for help. Turn on a flashlight. There's a light deeper in the woods. I need to see if that could be my brother. Oh, I do hear the screaming. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's the light. Oh my goodness, our flashlight is, is dying. What do we have here? That's my brother's backpack. He must have been in here. Weird, the backpack is completely empty. Nothing in here. Oh wow. Oh man, that could mean anything. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, we got two empty sort of a camera. Wait, oh, we can inspect the camera? What the heck? Someone made a picture of my tent and my car. That looks is that like a piece of steak that's that looks raw oh my goodness that looks like blood oh my i was trying to leave and then i get jump scared by this creepy dude with an axe and apparently my body was never found welcome to another indie horror game mom Sorry, that's literally what the game is called. I have no idea what it's about. But yeah, let's get into this. Okay, we're in... Looks like we're in the game now. My homework paper. It lists the daily chores. Okay. Alright, I gotta eat. I gotta drink root beer. That says root beer. Computer job. Take a good dump. That says dump. Dump and watch TV. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is an adorable little kitten. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? I have to do all the housework. Oh, okay, okay. Whoa, okay. Those are some interesting pictures. 1968 calendar. Are we in 1968 right now? Alright, I guess we just leave. Well, this is a pretty big room. Alright, can we do this? Okay, we gotta do homework first. The homework must be done in order. Let's see here. Okay, so first thing we have to do is eat. So I guess we need to find a kitchen. Alright, here's the kitchen. Why is there toilet papers in the refrigerator? And buckets in the freezer? That makes no sense. Oh, maybe it's a bucket. Maybe it's a pot. Whoa, okay, we're drinking the uh, root beer. Okay, here's the computer job. Whoa. What is happening here? Am I supposed to do something? Oh, 
Oh, no, it's doing it for me. Okay, I'm not doing anything. Windows 95, that is so old. Okay, we did that. Okay, we gotta find the bathroom now. Here we go. Oh, that is so nasty. Okay, that's done. Alright, last thing on the list is to watch TV. So I need to find... Where the TV? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's watch some good TV. Uh. Okay. That was weird. Okay, we're tired, so we need to go to bed. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm gonna close this because it's kind of annoying. Oh no, it's still going on. Uh, how do I... Can I close the door? Oh, maybe there was no... Wasn't there a door here before? I remember being... Whatever. Okay. Time for bed. Okay, the alarm just rang. Oh, that door is locked. Okay. We got more chores to do. Okay, it's literally the same chores. Literally the same chores in the same order. Alright, so we're gonna eat. We're gonna drink computer work. Oh, okay, this is slightly different. That was a little different than last time. Or maybe it was the same and I just don't remember. But yeah, on to the next thing, which is taking a dump. And then finally we watch TV. Okay, that is a bit of a mess. But I guess we're just going to ignore it. And it's the same thing. Okay, and now we go back to bed. Is everything just gonna repeat? Oh, whoa. I feel bad, my head hurts. I have to find some crap to drink. Oh boy, we gotta go back to the kitchen. Okay, I know, you gotta find root beer. That's definitely what that said. Oh no. What do you want me to do? There's no root beer anywhere. Whoa! Okay, I have no idea what any of that says. But I got a feeling it's nothing good. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, I just passed out or something. Bedroom table? What? Really? Okay, that stuff was not there before. This was not here before. Bedroom table, bedroom table, that's right, the bedroom. Okay, looks like everything's back to normal now. Okay, this was not there before. Alright, can we go to bed now? Surely we can go to bed. Oh, okay, fine. The fridge must be closed. Oh, boy. Alright, there you go. Okay, now I can sleep. Okay, I gotta be on this side, apparently. Come on, there he... What? I... I did close it! What are you talking about? I closed the fridge. There. Now stay closed. Oh, okay, now I'm getting annoyed. I know I closed it this time. Well, let me guess, the 
bottom one is gonna be open now, but the top one is gonna be closed. Is that what's gonna happen? Oh! Oh! What was that? Oh! Okay, that was a good jump scare. I know it's just the a flashlight. Where where'd you leave it? Tell me. The study. Where's the study at? Oh, wait, no, that's a microphone. No, that's a flashlight. I'm dumb. Okay. Okay. Now can I sleep? Nope, I am not allowed to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That laughter was creepy. Okay. Okay, now the TV just turned on, and then it turned off. Yeah, you're right. It is evil. Okay, that door used to be... Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, this is the bedroom. Can I... Ugh, what was that? Can I sleep, please? I just want to sleep. Okay, this is very terrifying. Wait, what's this? I got no idea what that says. But I'm pretty sure it's no. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh, what happened to the rest of the house? Oh, whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 what? Oh, okay, I was, I was supposed to do something there. Okay, now I'm all confused. Okay, I can't do that. Oh my gosh, we have another thing of root beer. Oh, why? I'm going through through this horrible experience, and yet I'm still drinking. Something's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh yeah, we should be sorry. And we passed out again. So yeah, this game has taught us to uh to not drink. Welcome to another indie horror game, Fear Creek. November 21st, 2003. When his parents left on a vacation, Nathan was left with the responsibility of staying home alone. This was until his uncle, Eric, arrived from the airport. Oh, okay, that's the whole story. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when did you clean the kitchen? Okay. Yep, where's the sink? There it is. Okay, the controls are kind of finicky. Okay, we're just going to throw them in there and then they just disappear. Yep, that's exactly how cleaning works in real life. Okay, someone just rang the bell. Where's the front door at? I'm guessing it's this one right here. No, that's not the front door. Okay. Maybe I was just hearing things. Oh no, there's someone outside, all right. But like, how do I actually... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, do we... Okay, we gotta pick the option. Let's see, uh, this one. Okay, yeah, we're happy to be here now. Yep. Okay, he's, he's gonna take a shower. Alright. Okay, what do we do now? Whoa, what's this? Did that TV just try to turn on? Good evening, I'm Connor what? Fallon, and tonight we okay. bring you a special report on a concerning okay. development in the Benton neighborhood. Okay, tell me According all about to it. recent reports, there have been multiple cases of missing persons over the past few weeks, leaving the what? community in a state of anxiety and uncertainty. 
Look, why is it look One why is it spring it all blurry? Actively involved in addressing this issue is Sarah, who has been a resident of the Benton community for over two decades. What is happening? In a recent interview, Sarah Why is everything getting blurry? The frequency of these disappearances and the need for the what? community to take proactive measures in addressing the issue. It is alarming to think that nope, individuals that can simply vanish without a trace. What this is happening too frequently in our neighborhood. Everything is, and it is so time blurry. For us to take this matter seriously. The families of these missing persons are understandably concerned mm. and worried, Sarah stated. Oh, we're getting tired. The That's the problem. That they are investig okay. TV turned off. Do I sleep now? What, what what exactly do I do? No, I get off the couch. Every, oh my goodness, that every time I move it, it looks like it's moving around. Okay, that is weird. Okay, why am I going outside? There's no need for that. Oh man, everything is so blurry. Okay, that's Noah. I guess that might be our dad, I guess. Do we have a room? Yeah, this must be our room. Alright, can we sleep? No, we're not allowed to sleep. Then what exactly do we do? Oh, okay. I guess this is the room we go into. Alright. Whoa, what is... What in the world? We're in definitely some kind of dream or something. We have to be. Okay, this is really creepy. Whoa, what just... what? Okay, it looks like we're back in the real world now. Okay, Uncle's flight got delayed. Yeah, Uncle's in the house. What? Yeah, he just... yeah, he's at the house. He was taking a shower. What? Okay, so apparently we need to get a gun. The only problem is, is that I don't know where said gun is. Whoa! What's happening? Okay, there you go. Okay, where is he? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, goodness, he's right there. Oh, no. Yeah, he's literally right there. What is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Oh, God! Okay, looks like we gotta restart everything from the beginning. Okay, so I just went through a door. And... Yeah. Can I please... Get back in? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to not do that again. Uh... Okay, I think I broke the game somehow. Because nothing's happening. I can't pause again. I can't do anything. Alright, there we go. Okay, now we gotta watch the TV again. Seriously. I like how the, the we can still hear the television even when we're far away from worried, it. Sarah stated. Very weird. Let's go to the bed now. The have confirmed that they are investigating each case of a missing person. However... Alright, we're in this little dream again. Okay. So we're back here again. This time I am not going to waste that bullet. Especially because I don't know if there's any other bullets around. Okay, let's go. Let's 
go here. Okay, okay. You have the doors constantly knocking. There it is. You better stop. if I leave this door open will the guy just walk on in or will he um still ring the bell oh the door closes itself okay that's fine oh well not again this game breaks so easily all right I'm going to not watch the TV I'm just curious as to what will happen if I do it that way. In fact, what if we go right in while he's taking a shower? Do we die earlier than you, than, than intended? Oh, there's no one in there. Well, thank goodness for that. Oh, we can't say, okay, we have to watch the TV. Okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna get the gun, and we're gonna fire. Okay. Okay, he's not there anymore. Yeah, we have no more bullets. Okay. Looks like we don't have a gun either. Gotta lock herself somewhere. Here? Oh wait, can, can we do something with this? Okay, okay. And then, with, oh no, I, I got it. Oh, there's the police. Do I go? No, what happens? Okay, that's all I had to do is just go under the garage door. I've been playing this game for like almost 29 minutes. You know what? This game honestly reminds me of Fierce to Fathom, which is a game I've never played before, but I've seen other YouTubers play it. And I don't know. I've actually been wanting to play that game. Who knows? Maybe I will one day. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.